Ranger. Fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver. The Lone Ranger. In the early days of the West, a stagecoach driver's job was a hazardous one. In addition to the grueling miles of hard trail, he was always in danger of attack by outlaw bands. Vicious men robbed and plundered for personal gain. Such an outlaw group was the one led by Frank Cameron, a man who in the short space of two months wrote a violent chapter in the history of crime in the Southwest. Cameron gang strikes again. The newspaper headlines told the story as Cameron and his men rode across the state, attacking stages, banks, and express companies. The smallest stage lines, regardless of the amount of cash or gold they carried, were hit by the ruthless outlaws. Posses of experienced lawmen, vigilantes, and angry citizens in all walks of life pursued the Cameron gang throughout the area to no avail. The outlaws were clever enough to elude the most carefully laid traps. As large and small businesses alike were crushed by the violence of Cameron's crime wave. Few outlaws, however, had enough nerve and ability to attack a federal stage shipment unless the stakes were high enough. But one million dollars in gold was high enough to attract Frank Cameron. Here they come. And one day on a narrow canyon road, he waited with his men, ready to attempt the biggest crime of his career. The attack was well planned. The outlaws hit fast and effectively. But this time Cameron's luck had run out, and although he had time to dispose of the gold, he was not clever enough to elude the determined posse that rode his trail. And so within 48 hours after the daring robbery, trapped in the dead end canyon, the outlaw trio surrendered. The violent career of crime had come to an end, and Frank Cameron and his men rode out to face trial, knowing they had no chance of defense against the hundreds of angry victims who had long awaited this moment. A few days later at our campsite in the deserted barn just outside the state capitol, I waited for Tonto to return with the results of the trial. Kind of like that, don't you, big fellow? I love it, Kimaselli. Cameron Gang sentenced to five years in prison. Did anyone confess to where the gold was hidden? Oh, them not talk. Them questioned by many lawmen. Them say them never tell where gold hidden. Well, I guess they figure a million dollars is worth five years of their life. Ah, them pick up gold and them get out of prison. That gold was slated for state funds. It's vitally important that it be recovered. You have a plan? Yes, Tano, I have. We've got to get someone inside the prison to gain the gang's confidence. Then maybe Cameron will tell us just where the gold is hidden. Well, that'd not be easy, Kimazami. They're plenty smart. Maybe no a trap. It would have to be someone with the reputation of an outlaw. Someone they wouldn't suspect. I'm afraid we don't have many outlaw friends. Uh, me know a man for a job. Uh, who? Me, uh, me be plenty mean. If newspaper help us, me get big reputation as outlaw, then go to prison. It would be dangerous, Tonto. Me know that, but me not worry. We face danger many times. First, we must get the governor's approval of our plan. And governor, our friend, maybe him help us. Oh, I'm sure he will. He's just as anxious to get that gold back as anyone in the state. We'll explain the details of our plan. Then it'll just be a matter of time. I'll get Silver saddled. <laughs> Million dollar outlaws captured, gold still missing. As you know, those men have been in prison for six months and still the gold hasn't been recovered. We're sticking everything on this plan of yours. I do hope it succeeds. We're ready to do our best, Governor. I'm sure of it. But again, I must impress on you the importance of your mission. Everything depends upon your success. 
We realize that, sir. The preliminary work has all been done. Though I never thought my friend Tonto would be playing such a part. Me, plenty bad fellow. Governor, you've done a thorough job. Now, when do you want Tonto to enter prison? This will answer your question. Red Dog captured. Sentenced to prison. Me ready, Kim That's what we wait for. Of course you realize that once in prison, you'll be on your own. We'll help to make your escape as authentic as possible. But it is your job to convince the prisoners that it's on the level. Tonto knew the dangers when he offered his services. Uh, one of outlaws part Indian. Me hope him be easy to convince. When outlaws get chance for freedom, me think them lead Tonto to gold. Your role will be difficult, too. After the prison break, you'll both be in danger. Those men are killers. The future of your state is more important than any personal risk. Our plan must succeed. Thank you. Governor. Tonto. Well, Tonto, this is where we part company. Ah, me go to meet prison guards. Everything is arranged. They'll put you in the cell block with Cameron and his gang. Now, once inside the prison, don't make you move too fast. You've got to gain the confidence of the gang. Me be plenty patient, Kimisabe. Me be in no hurry. Frank Cameron will beg Red Dog to help him escape. You go to camp near prison? Yes. I'll keep in touch with the contact man inside the prison. When you're ready to make your break, I'll be all set to play my part. Uh, you use name of Stark? Right. Good luck. Be careful, Tom. Yes, Kimisabe. Hey, Dad, open up. Got a new customer for you. Tim, all right, Frank. <laughs> well, we got some real class in this place now. Hey, Red Dog. I thought I read someplace where you'd never be caught. Red Dog, not be here long. Me, get out. Nobody gets out of this prison, Indian, unless it's in a pine box. Hey, Red Dog. You gonna escape? You got plan? <laughs> He's probably got some secret Indian trick, Red Oak. That right, Red Dog? <laughs> you gonna squeeze out through a crack in the wall? <laughs> Let all you want, white man. Red Dog be free while you rot in cell. Lay off him, Billy. Maybe he has got something up his sleeve. Red Dog's a smart man. Mm. When the time he gets out is when his sentence is up. According to what the judge said, that'll be 40 years from now. I think we got a long time to wait for five years. Yeah. We got something to wait for. You talk too much. Red Dog, my name's Frank Cameron. I'd like to be friends with you. Red Dog, not one friend. Oh, don't pay no attention to Billy here. He's a little unhappy being cooped up so long. I think I can help you, Red Dog. Red Dog, you... sweet, no talk. You can trust me. That's Rado. He'll tell you I'm a fair man. And I got some angles that might help. That's right, Red Dog. Frank is a good man with Indian. Red Dog, it might pay you to listen to me. Red Dog. How's it going, Red Dog? Still the silent treatment, huh? I don't blame you for not trusting people. I'm the same way myself. But we're both in here for breaking the law, and that ought to give us something in common. Maybe. And you only want me to take you with me when Nick escape. What's so wrong with that? Red Dog do things alone, not need help from anyone. I can offer you something in return. Me and the boys have got a fortune hidden on the outside. Now who's shooting his mouth off? I'm running things, Billy. Outside or inside. Get it? Yeah, I get it. I figure it's worth a cut to get out of this place. How about it, Red Dog? Quarter of a million dollars in gold, if you take us with you. That's a lot of gold. You heard about that million dollar federal gold robbery? That was us, Red Dog. I figured the whole job. The law tried to get us to break, but we didn't tell them a thing. It's all there waiting for us on the outside. It proves to here? I'll show you where it is, and part of it's yours. If we all get out together. Let me think it over. Maybe it's not easy for so many to get out. No, forget it, Frank. He ain't got brains enough to break out. You call Red Dog stupid for you? I didn't mean nothing. Look, if you got plans, let's have it all. We've heard for more than a week as a talk. Let me think it over. Set things up. Escape tomorrow. What about us? You go with me. Red Dog has decided. Listen close to what me say. We not miss a word, friend. 
Tomorrow we work on North Wall. There'll be ladder there where two of us work. At two o'clock, one or two guards be there. Others be at South Wall where there be trouble. Red Dog has fun with the horses and guns on the other side of Wall. When me give signal, we go over. Now, how did you arrange all that? Me have contact inside prison. Him get word out to bring enough horses and guns for all of us. Red Dog say we sleep now. Indian always have rest before we go into battle. Then quite man use good sense if him do same thing. Yeah, but what about this friend of yours, Indian? You heard the man. We're gonna sleep. Now shut that mouth of yours and sleep. Don't get any ideas, pal. One more step and you come down on your back. All of you, get to work. This ain't no sewing circle. All right. Break it to that wall. Go ahead. I'll watch these men here. All right, you. Come on down. Now, over what? Keep working. Come on, Red Dog. I've been waiting here hours. You paid to wait. What about guns? You got them? Don't get anxious, kid. I take orders from Red Dog. Give men guns. Well, I guess you know what you're doing. They're hanging on the saddle horns. You got a name, friend? Yeah. Stark. Stark, huh? Now, looks like you've been cut up real good, Stark. Who did it? A wise kid like you who asks too many questions? You don't ask him no more. Which way we ride for gold? You just ride, Red Dog. I'll lead the way. Well, Tano, it looks as if our plan is working. Ah, uh, but we must be careful of one name, Billy. I'll watch him. It's getting awful hot, Frank. How far we gotta go? Oh, a couple more hours. We'll stop when we get out of this country. What's the matter, Stark? Ain't you thirsty? You saving your water for that fancy horse of yours. Kid, I learned a long time ago. Too much water in this hot sun is bad for a man. You know, I wish I could figure out what it is about you, Stark. That voice of yours. Now, what is it, Billy? You looking for trouble again? Oh, it's his voice, Frank. There's uh, just something about it. I've been thinking about it ever since we started riding. Oh, you've been cooped up in jail so long, you've been hearing the voices in your head. I don't know. Much more of this son, and the kid's liable to think I'm his long-lost brother. Come on, let's ride. here. Ghost town of Rimrock ahead. That way you hide gold? That's right, but don't get any ideas. It'd take you five years to find it without the help of me and my boys. Good thing we stashed supplies, too. I'm hungry. Stark. <laughs> Billy, you gone nuts? No, I just got smart. Touch it near dead, Redskin. Watch him, Rayo. What is it, Billy? I just figured out who our friend Stark really is. And this will prove it. Silver bullets. Silver bullets? That's right. He's the Lone Ranger. It all fell into place when I remembered where I'd seen that white stallion of his. The Lone Ranger travels with Indian. The Indian I ride with is smart. Red Dog here is stupid. I tricked him just like I tricked you. You die for this white man. Cut the act, Redskin. 
You're both gonna die. Hold it, Billy. I know a way Red Dog can prove he's on the level. Yeah, how? Kill him. Cut a million dollars, Red Dog killed ten men. Red Dog took good care of him. Now let's ride. Hold it, Frank. I'm gonna stick my claim on that white stallion of his. My way. He's got to learn sooner or later. Easy, boy. Easy. Him learn to hate you and not forget. Red Dog's right, Billy. Take it easy. Not a one-man horse, Billy. You never get it. Yeah, and you're lucky he didn't get you. Come on, let's go. You can buy a hundred horses like that after you get your cut of the gold. Much like a bank, does it, boys? Gold here? That's right, friend. A million dollars worth. The call I'm interested in right now is food. Let's eat. I'll go for that. We can spend the gold any time. Red Dog, not wait. Want gold now. All right, Red Dog, if that's the way you want it, you'll get what's coming to you. into cash, it'll all add up to a million Yankee dollars. Come on, take a look at it. Go on, it's part yours. It isn't often a man gets to see that much gold at one time. Looks good, don't it? Like I told you, you'll get what's coming to you. Hold it! silver bullet I took from you? Well, it's in my gun. And you're gonna die with it. Right now. I'm coming, Billy. 
Don't you? Don't you? Let's join your friends. It's a long trip back to the state prison. I'll get going. And the people of this state owe you both a deep debt of gratitude. Well, Governor, we're glad we could help. If you ever need us again, please let us know. Uh, all four of us. Four? Uh, Red Dog, Stark, too. Them plenty mean outlaws. But when you get to know them, they're not bad fellows. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Tonto. Young man, history will be proud of Tonto and the Lone Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Oh. Captain Stephen Davis, United States Cavalry at your service, sir. Howdy, Captain. You're from the Gold Creek Settlement, traveling to Denton? Sure am. I got a parcel of gold out there, too. Hey, watch your foot. Well, there have been numerous robberies on this trail, sir. My men and I have been assigned to escort you in. Oh, now that, that's real nice. Glad to have you army boys along. Oh, it's our pleasure, sir. <laughs> Whoa. What's the trouble, Captain? No trouble, my friend. I just think this is a likely spot to relieve you of that gold that you're carrying. Hey, you just hold on there. Hurry up, gentlemen. Miss Harry. Another day in the hold up. Come on. Come on, let's get out of here. calls himself Captain Davis. It's hard to believe that our old friend Captain Davis can be responsible for these crimes. But Tommy see him leave, not come back. Which makes him a deserter. And even harder to understand knowing the way he felt about the army and the love he has for his family. Uh, many strange things happen to Miss Abby. Maybe him change. Yes, it looks that way. Uh, you feel all right for driving to Denton? Oh, sure. What am I going to do when I get there? I'm all cleaned out. Oh, you'll find work. I have some silver in my saddlebag that should tide you over until you do. Oh, thanks, mister. Say, who are you, anyway? Who can I thank? Him, friend. Someone who's going to run down Captain Davis and get your money back for you for the last thing he ever does. Thank you. Thank you. Any words, sir, about my father? No, Tim. Sorry. Colonel Strickland? That is, fellow. Captain Davis again, sir. Another robbery. That makes number five. They've stolen almost $10,000 in gold already, sir. Can't understand it. He was one of my best officers. Why? Why did a man with 15 years of good army service behind him turn outlaw? We'll know the answer to that, sir, when we've captured him. Yes, sir. I'll follow up on that, folks. Uh, Colonel, the captain's son's outside. What shall I tell him? I'll talk to him in a few minutes. He's taking it pretty hard, isn't he? Yes, sir. That's the worst part of all this, what it's doing to Davis's family. That's all, Phillips. Yes, sir. What did the colonel 
they? Has he heard from my father? The colonel will be out in a minute, Tim. You better ask him. What do you keep asking everybody for, Tim? You ain't gonna see your dad no more. I am so. I'm not. You just wait. When my father comes back, he'll prove he didn't do all those things. My pop says when they bring Captain Davis back, it'll be at the end of a rope. What does your father know about it? He's only a lieutenant. Well, at least my dad isn't a coward and a deserter, too. You take that back. Jim? Jimmy, Tim, stop it, both of you. Tension. Fine way for a couple of soldiers to act. Now, what's it all about, Jimmy? He started, Colonel. He picked a fight for no reason at all. There was so a reason. Well, maybe I said something about his dad, but golly, Colonel, everybody at the fort knows that Tim's dad's a criminal now. You better go to your quarters, Jimmy. But, sir... Go ahead, son. It's an order. Yes, sir. Now, what are you doing here at headquarters anyway, Tim? I told your mother I'd let her know the minute I had something definite. Now, you better go on home. You don't believe it, do you, Colonel? You know my father isn't an outlaw, don't you? Well, we'll talk about it later, son. Why can't we talk about it now? You don't think he deserted, do you? I don't know, Tim. I, I just don't know. Now, Tim, come here. What happened? Nothing, Mom. I, I, I fell down. You've been fighting, haven't you? It wasn't anything, Mom, really. Tim, you and I have never had any secrets. Was it about your father? You haven't forgotten what your father said about fighting, have you? He said if there was a good reason, if a fella knew he was right. Yes? I don't care what anybody says, they're all wrong. Dad's not what they say he is. Tim, <laughs> I'm so mixed up. I'm sorry. Don't cry, Mom. He'll come back. Everything's gonna be all right. If there was some way we knew, some way to talk to him or see him. Please, Mom. Better go wash your face. I've got to finish this mending. There was some way we knew, some way to talk to him, to see him. What did you learn at the Gold Creek Settlement? They're trouble, Kimasabi. Miners plenty angry about robbery. Them blame army. Well, they're wrong. The army's doing everything in its power to bring those men to justice, just as we are. But maybe the army not like us to interfere. It's every man's duty, in uniform or out of uniform, to help this government of ours bring its enemies to justice. Tano, we've got to make the West a place where decent men and women can live in safety and in peace. Hold it, Tano. It's only a boy. What are you doing here, son? Nothing. Uh, I was looking for a place to sleep. Where do you live? Don't be frightened. We won't harm you. But your mask. This mask stands for justice. Tano and I work on the side of the law. You wear army uniform. You from Port Brady? Yes, sir. I was on my way to Gold Creek. That's quite a trip for a young fellow. You must have a good reason. I have. I'm trying to find my father. You son of Captain Davis? Yes. My name's Tim. How did you know? Tim, we knew your father a long time ago when you were very young. Well, then maybe you can help me. Just got to find him. Everybody thinks she's done something awful. Yes, we've heard. 
But he didn't do it. I just know something's happened to him. Tim, that's a job for the law. If anything has happened to your father, Tano and I will find him. I promise. But I want to help. Is your mother back at the fort? Yes, sir. She know you run away? Uh, I left her a note. She'll understand. Well, Tim, you're the man of the house now, at least for a while. It's your job to look after your mother. Yes, sir, but please, I've just got to find my father. He needs me. Sorry, Tim. It won't work. You have to go back. You have horse? Yes, he's over there. Well, I'll get it, Tano. You get Silver and Scout, and then we'll head for Fort Brady. Tim, you stay here. Now they've added murder to their crimes. We can't delay any longer, Tato. What we do? Well, I have a plan. But our first concern is young Tim. I want you to take him to the Gold Creek settlement. See to his safety. Then go to the livery stable. Rent a wagon and a horse. And meet me. Oh, this wagon costs more than anything I ever heard of. Gold strike make all miners rich, Tim. Everything in Gold Town costs plenty gold. You remember what masked man tell you? Yes. We send for army men. Him take you to fort. Yes, sir. You go into stable now. Him take care of you till the time to leave. I will, Tonto. You even fool me. You look like miner from Gold Creek. <laughs> Hope the outlaws think the same engine. Everything ready? Ah, me follow on Silver and Scout. Good. I'll keep on the road. You go along the ridge. When I signal, come fast. to the bank in Denton. <laughs> well, we're from Fort Brady. My men and I are assigned to patrol this road. There's been trouble lately. Trouble, eh? Sure wouldn't want nothing to happen with me carrying all this gold dust back there. Well, that's what I mean, sir. We'll escort you into Denton. Well, no. That's mighty nice of you fellas. Much obliged. Well, you just follow us, and we'll lead you through safely. Lead on, son. Lead on. Look for you. Here, Brody. Come on, here. Hey, 
What are you holding that six shooter at me for? From here on, we'll take over, mister. Take over? What are you fellas talking about? All right, get rid of that gun. All right. I'm getting rid of it. All right, now get that gold dust and hand it over. Maybe that'll clear things up for you. And make it fast. All right. I'm going. You watch that six gun. Oh, Brownie. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Maybe that'll move you along. Tim. Did you see him? Did you see him? That captain wasn't my father. I know that, Tim. We could have captured them if you hadn't disobeyed orders. I'm sorry, sir, but I just had to come along. I... Boy in here? Yes, Tano. That's why I couldn't give you the signal. But him make promise, Kimisabe. Yes, but I had my fingers crossed. Well, that's a kid's trick, Tim. Men shouldn't act like kids. You made a promise, son, and promises are meant to be kept. I'm sorry, sir. Honest. But now you know it isn't true about my father. Now we can prove it. Yes, if we can track them down. We better get started right away. We'll leave the wagon here. What about boy? Him can't buy a wagon like. We'll have to take him with us, Tonto. Tim, this is your chance to prove that you can be a real soldier like your father. You'll have to obey orders. Understand? Yes, sir. Good. You can ride with me. to Rock Canyon. Miss Abby, look. We go after them? I was too exposed. The real Captain Davis is in there. We can't take any chances. But we've got to save him. Easy, Tim. We have to have a plan of attack before we move in. You soldier, Tim. You know that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. Yancey, go hitch up the buckboard and get down to the outpost for supplies. Supplies? Well, we got plenty of supplies. Not for where we're going, we haven't. We're pulling out? That's right. But, boss, we got a good thing going here. Exactly. But Yancey, haven't you ever heard that a good thing never lasts? What do we do with our army friend in the other room? Well, I've got an accident arranged for the unfortunate Captain Davis. One that will leave him to take the blame for the robberies but quite dead. We move on and pull the same scheme in another territory. I get going, Yancy. Where do you think him go, Kim Sammy? I don't know, but wherever it is, he'll be back, and then we'll get him. Have you got a plan, math man? Yes, Tim, I have, and one I think will work. Never mind. Just start taking off that uniform. Here comes Jancy. It's about time. Then go give him a hand with the supplies. Hey, what are you doing? You need a saber to carry groceries? <laughs> of course I have it, boy. I've been wearing this uniform so long, I keep forgetting I'm not a real soldier.
you once more. Where's Davis? In the back room. Take care of him, Tuttle. You all right, Captain? You're the last person I ever expected to see, my friend. How did you find me? I, I'd given up. Tonto and I were quite certain of your innocence. But I think it was the faith of a small boy that really kept us going. A boy? Dad! Tim! Tim, what on earth are you doing here? I knew you weren't guilty, Dad. I knew it all the time. I just had to come after you to prove that they were wrong. You should have stayed with your mother, son, but I'm very proud of you. Very proud. We'll pack the gold out of the safe, then we'll get started for the fort. I wish we could thank you for all the things you've done. Seeing you three together is all the thanks we need. Goodbye, Tim. Goodbye, sir. And Tonto. Take good care of him, Captain. He's a fine soldier. Adios. Gosh, Dad. I never did find out who the masked man was. He's one of the best friends the U.S. Army ever had, son. That's the Lone Ranger. I will do it. The Lone Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. In all the annals of the Golden West, no outlaw's name struck more terror into the hearts of law-abiding citizens than the name of Jake Baudry. He struck without warning, robbed, plundered, and murdered. Until finally his acts of outrage brought Marshal Dallas Deadeye Jones out of retirement to track him down. You've been riding hard, Tonto. Anything wrong? I may plenty worried, Kimisabe. Silver City newspaper print report about Marshal Jones. Uh, tell which way him come here. Old-time Texas lawman says he'll arrest Jake Baudry. Dallas Deadeye Jones riding here through Canyon Trail. That's all Baudry needs to bushwhack Deadeye and kill him in his tracks. Unless we do something about it. And me hear plenty tales about Deadeye. Say him draw fast and shoot straight. Well, he used to, Tana, but Dallas Jones is an old man now. Uh, you know him, Kimisabe? Only by reputation. What I've heard about him is true. He's going to be a hard man to help. Because him too proud? Proud, fearless, mighty stubborn. We're going to handle him carefully so he won't resent our interference. Maybe we have to trick him into letting us help him. Maybe so. We're going to help him whether he likes it or not. all these years a lawman. He's never had a deputy. I wonder if they could be... Just as I thought. It's Jake Baudry and his partner Tanner. Tano, they're heading for that switchback. Now, that best place for them to ambush old lawman when him ride by. Not if we capture them before he rides by. Come on.
Mike, are you sure that old coot will be coming this way? We read it in the paper, didn't we? Sure, I'm sure. Well, I hope so. I hate to be wasting time here when we could be robbing that bank and so forth. Quit worrying about the bank. We'll take care of that. But first, we got to get rid of Dead Eye Jones. I don't see what makes him so all fired important. Oh, no? Well, he was the toughest lawman in the state of Texas till he took up ranching. Now that he's wearing a star again, we gotta get him or he'll mess up our plan. Just because old Jones bragged he was gonna get us, don't say he will. Uh, that's right. We're gonna get him first. Then everything's gonna be all right. All right, you two. Stop your guns. Take a look at that mask, Jake. What are you fellas trying to do, move in on our territory? You can't stick us up, mister. We're outlaws ourselves. I know you are, but we're not. Now drop your guns real easy, like. We take them to the Silver City Jail, Kimisabi? I have a better idea, Tano. We'll leave them here for Dallas Jones to find and take in single-handed. He'll finish this job in a blaze of glory. Let me tie him up. All right, masked man. If you shoot at me, you'll hit your engine friend. And if you shoot at Tanner, I'll take care of the engine myself. Get your gun, Tanner. Between two fires, Kira Sammy. Hold your fire, Tato. It's Dead Eye Jones. He'll think we're shooting at him. Tato, let's get out of here. That suits me. Show you how you mean, you coyotes. We'd better humor him. Look, Kira Sammy. Bold and Tanner make getaway. All right. If you won't come out, I'll drag you out. Reach, you buzzards. Oh, hiding your face behind a mask, huh? This mask is on the side of the law and always will be. There go your outlaws. Well, if them's the outlaws, what are you doing down here with them? Kimisabe catch them for you. Now you spoil it. Easy, Tonto. Kimisabe, Tonto. I heard tell of a fellow that wore a mask and worked for law and order. They say he used to be with the Texas Rangers. They always figured that was a campfire story. It's true, no matter what you think. And prove it. When were the Texas Rangers sworn in as a law enforcement body? 1835, officially. Who was the commanding officer? Major R.N. Williamson. What kind of horse did you ride? Quick, now. He rides Scout Kimisabe ride white stallion named Silver. Ah, uh, gee. Give me one of your bullets. No fumbling around, neither. Pure Silver, Marshal Jones. Yeah, I reckon you're right at that. So you know who I am, eh? Every man in the West fights for law and justice, knows the name of Dead-Eye Jones. You couldn't have heard much about me. You'd know I always play a lone hand. So what in turn nation are you sticking your nose in my business for? We read in the papers that you were traveling this trail alone. Jake Bowdy read paper too, Marshal. Sure, Bowdy reads the paper. That's why I got the editor to print that piece about me. You do it on purpose, so Bowdy try ambush you? Dag never the easiest way to take a bad man is when he's bushwhacking. He's watching the trail instead of looking behind him. How did you know where they'd ambush you? You're a stranger here in these parts. I rode into Silver City two nights ago without letting on. After I made my deal with that editor feller, I rode the trail back and studied it. I could have had been skunks if it hadn't been for you butting in and losing them for me. Now we got to start all over. We not lose them, you... Just a minute, Tonto. Marshal, we're sorry we spoiled your plans. But Baudry and Tanner are two to one against you, unless you accept our help. Yeah, that makes four to one against me. Eh, yeah, I reckon your intentions are good, all right. But the only thing you can do for me is get your horses and get before you ruin my reputation. Come on, Tonto. Looks like we aren't wanted here. We 
We're almost out of canyon, Kimasabi. Why we stopped? We're not letting Marshal Jones play a lone hand against Baudry and Tanner. His age would be no match for them. He'd be plenty angry if him find out we're still trying to help him. We'll do it without him knowing it. You remember that mine we set up camp last year? Ah. We'll use that as headquarters. Come on. We leave horses out of sight, Kimasabi. We aren't staying here after all. Somebody already camped here. Not just somebody. Look at this. D.I.J. Dead Eye Jones. This is the brand he uses at his ranch. If him camp here, we better move someplace else before him come back. Tom, listen. We can't get to our horses from here. You'd see us. We could hide in mine, Tom. That's it. Come on. except the way we came. Uh, we tap by man, we try to help. At least we're close by in case he needs us. Jones has got to be around here somewhere. Uh, what about that mass man and the engine? Ah, oh, they were just a couple of drifters who were our favorite. Chances are Jones ran them off. He ain't gonna run us off because he's not gonna live that long. If we find him. Don't worry, all we gotta do is keep looking. We'll cross his trail someplace. Let's go. I think he's gone. Unless him try to play a trick on us. That's a chance we'll have to take. Come on. He's gone, all right. We get horses and follow him? It is a safe distance. You mustn't know we're keeping an eye on him. Yeah, there ain't a sign of him nowhere. Well, the earth couldn't just open up and swallow him. I wonder... Hey, I'll bet that's it. Oh, you mean the earth did swallow him? No, not exactly, but... Do you remember a couple of days ago we rode by that old worn-out mine? Uh, I wonder if he's camping there. That's quite a ride from here. Well, what's the matter with you? You tired or something? Come on, let's go check that mine. Are you sure you left the horses here? Ah, I mean, sure. I mean, tied them to this bush. A message for us. I said, stay away from me. You'll find your horses two miles north. Yours truly, Deadeye Jones. The old fox knew we were in the mine all the time. And uh, now we lose him. Not for long. We've got a two-mile walk for our horses. Come on. Just like I said. He is camping here. Yeah, but where is he now? So what do we care as long as we know he's coming back after his belongings? Take a hole in that campfire. What for? Just do as I say and you'll see. Saving his gunpowder to blow up the bank safe. And I guess it's enough for both jobs. Next meal old Jones cooks, when the flame hits that, is gonna blow him sky high. Now let's cover it up so he won't suspect nothing. So far after all. Old Lawman turned him loose. Who's over? That's a good boy. Give me Tommy. Here's another note from Deadeye. Don't follow me back to camp. I ain't going there no more. Deadeye Jones. Tonto, he's trying to trick us again. You think him really go back to camp? I'm sure of it. He's belonging to back there. 
Him hope no throw us off train? Yes, but it isn't going to. I still don't see why we can't just wait till he shows up and plug him in the back. Nah, that looks too much like murder. When that gunpowder blows him up, everybody will figure it's an accident. Nobody's gonna suspect us anyway. Because we're gonna have a perfect alibi. Who'd give us an alibi? Everybody in Silver City's general store. Because that's where we're gonna be when old Dead Eye Jones blows himself to glory. Adam, look. That rotary antenna. They've been up around Dead Eye's camp. Come on. Uh, me not hurt bad, Kimasabi. Bullet just sting rib. You go act out loud. Not until I'm sure you're all right. I uh, mean, just get breath knocked out. Kimasabi, maybe this fall from Jake Borden, his saddle. Gunpowder. I wonder if they planted the charge at the old marshal's camp. Uh, we better get there quick. Are you sure you can ride? Uh, you're not worried, Kimasabi. Me, all right. Good. Marshal Jones, get away from that fire. Audrey and Tan were there. I think they planted a powder charge. <laughs> if they had, I'd have spotted it. If you're trying to scare me, you don't scare that easy. We're trying to save your life. If there's gunpowder under that fire, you'll be blown to bits. As I told you before, and I'll tell you again for the last time, keep away from me and stay out of my business. Now clear out. Marshal, don't do that. <laughs> Still alive, Kimasabi? Yes, but his eyes and face are badly burned. He needs a doctor. We'd better get him to Silver City right away. I'm tired of the way things are going on around this town. I'm going to change everything. Jake. You just... Jake, I just How many times something? I got to tell you not to interrupt me when I'm talking? Jake, this is something... Shut up! Now, like I was saying, if Dead Eye Jones wants me, why is he hiding in the hills? I'm right out here in the open, waiting for anybody to come and take me if they think they're man enough. And that includes any of you if you got gravel enough to back up your own game. Jake, will you listen to me? All right. I just seen the masked man and that engine helping old man Jones into Doc Washburn's place. Jones? Ain't he dead? Well, it looks like the blast chewed him up plenty, but he can still navigate. You better get over to the doctor's office and see what you can find out. Fix me up quick, Doc, so as I can go out and gun Jake Bulbry. You won't be gunning anybody for a while, Marshal. Not until your eyes get well. Ain't nothing wrong with my eyes. These ways I can see good enough to shoot. Can you see this? Sure, I can see it. It's a white a handkerchief. Hey, what's going on right, here? Right, Marshal. The Doc isn't going to hurt you. He's just going to bandage your eyes. You know, I don't care if he does. Just so he leaves the slit in the bandage to see through. And hurry it up, because I'm heading for a showdown with Jake Bulbry. You can't see well enough to go after Bulbry, and that's a fact. Who said so? I can see you standing right out in front of me. Plain as my hand before my face. Jake, that old man may be seeing fuzzy, but he's talking sharp. Dead eyes and all, he's gonna come gunning for you. Seeing fuzzy? You mean his eyes ain't working so good? Yeah. And I don't have nothing to worry about. Hey, Dead Eye Jones coming gunning for me. 
Any of you heroes figure on lining up on his side? That's what I thought. I ain't never gunned no blind man, but if that's the way he wants it, that's the way he's gonna get it. Dead center. He's coming out of the doc's office right now. Let's go. Duck out, he wouldn't know the difference. He can't see nothing. Yeah, I'll see less in a minute. This is our chance to get rid of him for good. Slip in that alley over there and cover me in case there's an accident. Make it play, Marshal! I'm right here in front of you! Jail, Kimasabi? They're there for keeps, Tolo. Marshal, I think this coat fits you better than it does me. Mister, you mean to tell me you caught them two sidewinders single-handed? No, Marshal. You caught them single-handed the way you've always done. It's what the people of Silver City think, and it's what Baudry and Tanner will think, too. When your eyes get well, I suggest you go into retirement again. Ah, and this time for good, Marshal Jones. And that's just what I'm going to do. I've been an ornery old fool. But I'll say this. When the time come when I had to have a deputy, I'm mighty glad it turned out to be you. Thank you, Marshal Jones. Adios. I just can't figure how you could shoot like that, you old wildcat. What did you do for eyes? <laughs> <laughs> and the law works with eyes that see in the dark. Ain't you ever noticed the statue of old lady justice? She works blindfolded, only now and then. He gets a little help from the Lone Ranger. <laughs> I'll sell 